Well, a lot of teams came close, but not many undefeated teams here in the Panhandle, but one of them, the Stratford Elks. And yeah, like you just said, um, they're led by the Killer Bees, the Braden Brothers and Zane Burrs. So excited to see the deep run they make into the playoffs. A popular nickname in sports. The Astros have had it. The Steelers have had it a little bit. And now the next in that line of incredible teams, the Stratford Elks, undefeated this season, 10-0, taking on Sundown to open up the postseason, hoping to take that undefeated run all the way to states. Here's the first punt of the game, and if we're showing you a punt, I think you know what's about to happen. And it's Julio Valdez hauling it in and blowing by all the potential tacklers, runs all the way into the end zone, actually get his walk at the end for the first touchdown of the game, 6-0 Stratford. The Elks with the ball once more. Bryce Braden takes it up the middle on the quarterback keeper. Breaks a few tackles. Look at the strength, the balance, the agility. Dives for the pylon, and he's in another Stratford touchdown. The Elks are just too mightiful. Zane Burr cuts it back and takes it in for another score. There's that killer B. We saw a couple of them in the highlights. Stratford wins this one 49-8. And then one of our Thursday night matchups last night, the Vega Longhorns versus Mike's Memphis Cyclones here. Second half, Longhorns up 14-0. Memphis's Isaiah Martinez dodging a few defenders, and he will connect with Dominique Castillo. Castillo will run it all the way to the 15-yard line before being brought down. That run would set up another Martins Castillo route again right here, this time hitting Castillo in the back of the end zone, giving the Cyclones their first points of the night. Jonathan Martinez coming in this play with a huge quarterback sack, taking down Joaquin Segovia there. And one more time, actually, for the QB wide receiver duo, Martins connects with Castillo right inside the red zone, setting up for the Austin Val cycloning right up the middle for another Memphis touchdown. And, but that would not be enough for the Cyclones, and Vega would take this one in the end, 33-12. Next, we're going to go to Bovina taking on Seagraves playing at Slayton. Right off the bat, Mustangs going for it. Darian De La Rosa going to punch it right up the middle. 6-0 Bovina. Seagraves on fourth down going for it. Jason Williams going to have a great run up the side. Eventually brought down, but not before he gets that first down. That puts Jace Humphreys in a great position to launch the ball downfield. And Carlos Longoria is going to go up and grab it. Seagrave gets on the board and rolls it to a 22-12 win, knocking Bovina out of the playoffs. Farwell was taking on Olton uh, tonight in Littlefield. We're going to jump to the second quarter here. The Steers are down 2-0, but Alec Atkinson doesn't let that last long. The quarterback keeper puts Farwell up 6-2. Uh, later in the half, it's Corey Stancil. You think he's going left until, boom, he's going right and going right into the end zone at that. Farwell takes a 12-2 lead on Stancil's touchdown. The point after, though, you're going to see here it's a fake, and Walker Williams will walk right into the end zone for two. Farwell says farewell to Olton. The Steers steer themselves to a 41-23 first-round victory. You crack me up every time. All right, now we're going to go to Wellington Sky Rockets. Took on the Boys Ranch Rough Riders last night. First drive for the Sky Rockets. Mayhor Brown skyrocketed up the right side, throwing out the stiff arm and straight into the end zone. And right here, another pass off, this time to Nixon Folk, and he will hit the corner of the end zone right next to me, actually, for another touchdown for Wellington. And Folk will finish what he started right here as the second two-point conversion of the night for the Sky Rockets is good. 16 to nothing, Wellington up. The Sky Rockets defense not giving the Rough Riders much. A QB sack from John Wall to give Wellington one more opportunity for another touchdown right here just in the first quarter. This time, P.J. Garcia connecting with Brown, and Brown will jog it right into the end zone untouched, and Wellington goes on to win this game big over Boys Ranch, 58-6. And over at Happy State Bank Stadium, they were hosting a number of games. And the final one you're going to see this week, the Panhandle Panthers taking on Floyd Data. And Floyd Data starting off with a big-time sack of Landon Hass. He's taken down in the backfield by a bunch of Floyd Data defenders. But later in the drive, Panhandle takes to the ground. Wyatt Book Brookshire stiff-arming a few defenders. He will jog right into the end zone. And then here's the extra point. Nothing special happened here. Just your routine average extra point. Just kidding. Hack tosses it to Landon Durst for the two-point conversion. Later in the game, Hack 
keeping it himself, doing a little bit of everything on offense, runs it 40 yards, breaks a few tackles. This Panthers offense electrifying, firing on all cylinders, another touchdown. And here's another X point. This time, I swear, they just kick it. It's, no, it just got gotcha. you. Another two-point try, and this time, Mize keeps it himself up the middle. Panthers win this one 54 to 28. And to finish off your 2A scores, New Deal beating Highland Park 71 to 18 in one of our pick'ems games that I did not pick right. Sunway's gonna get the win, 53-35 over Shamrock. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a look at those pick'ems later to find I'm out excited. who I'm not. came in first <laughs> and who came in last. Uh, maybe it's not a surprise based on a little bit of the conversation that just happened, but you can be sure to stick around <laughs> to find out all of that later on here on the wrap up. Yeah!